Like many parents heading back to work as COVID-19 cases drop and businesses reopen, Natalie Houck is facing a dilemma. I've had to find child care for before school so that I can get work on time. Um, and it's been a little bit challenging. Houck is a full-time teacher. Her four-year-old daughter is heading into pre-K at Buffalo's Bennett Park Montessori Center in the fall. It starts at 9 and then it ends at 3.30. So parents who need to get to work, you know, at eight o'clock need to find that before school care. And then uh, my daughter will have to also attend an after school program. According to Western New York Women's Foundation Executive Director Sherry Scavone, the Western New York daycare desert is looking even worse post pandemic. During the pandemic, many child care centers closed. Uh, we're hoping most reopen, but the reality of it is that there's even less availability now. Scavone says the state is researching how many eligible daycare spots were lost due to either a daycare closing a room because of a lack of workers or closing their their entire center, but so far the data isn't yet available. She also anticipates costs will rise for unsubsidized daycares, another post pandemic product of the state's new guidance, which calls for six feet social distancing and even fewer children allowed in one room. Previous data shows the average family spends $15,000 a year on infant and toddler child care across the state. Were we ready for what we're faced with as parents return to work? No, uh, and we have been saying that throughout the pandemic. In Natalie Houck's case, she says she was turned away because her daughter was too young for most before school programs. She tells me she was finally able to secure an affordable daycare spot after about a week of trying. And it was a huge relief to finally find that resource. Houck says she turned here to the Child Care Resource Network for help. It's a nonprofit connecting parents to nearby child care resources. We have contact information right now at WKBW.com. Reporting in Buffalo, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. You know, Ellie's right. We have been talking about this and Sherry Scavone, right? For the entire pandemic, right. like, this is an issue that parents are facing. The thing is, is this started before the pandemic, yeah. so we knew this was coming. The pandemic exacerbated the problem. Made it worse, right. So now we're trying to figure out how we can get things back on track and help it make it affordable for parents. Okay, just put that number into perspective. $15,000, that's for one child. So much money. On average.